I mean, if you really must know, I was thinking about an instant. Why are you? Why? Why are you? Okay, everyone's really pissed off at me because I wasn't talking, because I wasn't commentating. All right, guys, I get it. I get it. Okay, you don't have to hold it against me like this. This is just you're being really mean. I mean, Cass's cheeks are morphing into her, 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 her sunglasses. She looked positively horrifying. I, I, I need a little lie down. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Let's Play Fallout New Vegas, where I've trimmed my moustache, and I actually did this, like, an episode or two ago, but I forgot to mention it. I don't know if anyone noticed, but anyway, yeah, I trimmed it. It looks a little bit less sort of Yosemite Sam, and a little more David Niven. Slightly more dapper, a little, you know, a little, little less country bumpkin. Um, yeah, anyway, so... <clears throat> We're here at the Grub and Gulp once again. And we're at the Grub and Gulp because there are trucks here. We're going to drive north shortly because we're going to go convince Henry, Henry Jameson to quit his position at the Crimson Caravan Company. I'm probably also going to stop by the Gunrunners and sell a bunch of crap. Um, but yeah, and then, then we got to go check out a burned out caravan for a for, for, for bounty for... Um, Stephen Randall, and and we're gonna go check out another burnt out caravan with Cass, who I've I've, I've confiscated her shades um, because the whole thing with them getting stuck in her face was getting a little strange, t to be honest. You know, Cass, people have been complaining about the fact that you wear makeup. Seriously, yeah, no, really. They, they've they've been they've been having a good old bitch and complain about that. I for one think it's good that you take pride in your appearance, and you know frankly not all of us can have a face like Marmite on toast like Russell here. So good for you, I say. Good for you. People are having to go at Boone for having a beard as well. I mean you know it's just there's no pleasing some folks. They'll 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 criticise anything, literally anything. Uh, yeah. So let's get in the truck, everybody. Let's drive north. I, I'm beginning to feel like we should just, you know... I have to do this every time, and it just it, it kind of annoys me, but just leaving them there as black voids of nothingness actually annoys me slightly more. Um, I just... Uh, where is it, then? Gun runners, let's go there first. I'm beginning to get the impression I should maybe just focus on one thing at a time instead of this really weird, like, attention deficit disorder approach to to doing jobs. You know, where we're like, oh, well, we'll, we'll do this thing. Um, we're kind of vaguely in the region of these three other completely unrelated things, so let's do them while we're here as well. Instead of actually committing to one job and, you, you know, do you know what I mean, Cass? I, do you see what I'm talking about? It's It's a little strange. And then I get all sort of like, oh, I can't be bothered to explore on these cool things that I've never been to before because I'm too busy being all like, oh, well, we've got, like, got to do this thing, we've got to do that thing, we've got to go walk five miles in that direction and do this other thing. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm getting a little, um, sort of sidetracked constantly. Like, my entire job right now is to be sidetracked constantly. And then... That means I have no room to be side properly sidetracked because I'd be getting sidetracked from from getting sidetracked, which is just strange. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna sell a bunch of shit to the gun runners, and I guess I'll be back when I've I've, I've finished doing that. I, I suppose Russell, are you are you using your knife again? You're using your knife again, aren't you? I can do that. Good call. How many times? How many? Times. Well, that was fast. They didn't have enough money for anything more than like two of my forty-four pistols. So, yeah, that. Pfft, whatever. Um. 
Come along then, everybody. Uh, we could just walk to the Crimson Caravan, but of course... Actually, would it be better to walk to the Crimson Caravan from here? It might be. Let's trip north gate. Where's the other free side gate then? Because there's two. There's free side north gate there. Free side east gate. It's literally, yeah, it's right over here. So, well, let's just do that then. Because we could drive into Freeside and park the van near the strip gate. But, meh. See, and Crimson Caravan's literally right there, so I, yeah, I was literally, I was about to drive all the way over there. I mean, and ironically enough, that's probably a very silly thing to do, considering I don't actually need to go to the Crimson Caravan compound right now. I need to go in here. So I don't know what, where my brain was going with that little plan of action. Hello, citizens of Freeside. Junkies, tramps, and hobos. How are you all? Oh, hello. I've got no weapon equipped. Isn't this a hoot? I just shot you in the chest twice and you didn't die. Oh, Mauser. You're awesome, but you're so shit at the same time. I should just I need I should just take the scope off this and, and use this for close encounters, shouldn't I? I need to save the mouths of a shooting critters. I have so many pistols and submachine guns and crap. I need to find someone to sell them to. Did we just walk past Mick and Ralph? I think we did. Also, what are you doing? No, ooh, no. I'm beginning to suspect that this is wow, okay, you you just there we go. I begin to suspect this is a problem with the option in Jip's command and control. What did I just do? I just switched weapons by accident. I'm beginning to suspect this is a problem with Jip's command and control. Um, because I, I ticked the option that makes it so that companions draw with the player and I'm, I feel like for some reason that's causing you guys to be a bit weird with your weapons. Um, I could be wrong, and we'll certainly find out now I've switched it off, but grenade grenade counter, go away, please. I, 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 nobody loves you. Uh, I do, though. I honest, I miss, sorry, grenade counter. I, I do like you. I just don't want you there when I'm when you're not relevant. People are talking, buddy. You've made quite an impression on the strip. <laughs> Thank you, Miss Dixon. That was your name to you. You hobo, junkie, drug dealing, savage. I shall have nothing to do with you. I should have nothing to do with anyone here if it weren't for the fact that I hope they'll buy my guns. Ralph. Hey, what can I get you? Money. Take a gander. Lots of money for all of these lovely... You've 70 caps, are you kidding me? Do you offer any other services? I only offer services if the king gives the okay. Impress him and we can talk. A resourceful fellow such as yourself must have something on the side, though, surely. Alright. Yeah, I've got a little side business going. What I'm about to share with you does not leave this room, eh? Over the years, I've gradually perfected my craft to the point of perfection. No one can distinguish between my work and the real thing. What I'm referring to is passport. If you've got the caps, I can whip up a strip passport which will fool even the most well-trained eye. You clearly don't realize who you're talking to, uh, I, I, you, and this is why you want to keep it low-key. Hey, if you're interested and have the caps, they go for 500. Any less, and it ain't worth the risk of getting caught. What do you say? You game? <laughs> I've already got enough caps to pass the credit check anyway, so... No problem. If you need one later, just stop in. All right, he's, he's an amenable. I mean, what am I talking about? An amenable enough fellow is what I meant to say. Amenable. Stupid brain disconnect with the mouth. Uh, I'd like to know more about. No, I re I kind of really wouldn't actually. It's a it's a total dump. Um, 
He did mention the king, though. We really should seek that gentleman out at some point. Mick. Welcome to Mick and Ralph's. If you need guns, I'm your man. For general supplies and other services, see my partner Ralph. Well, I don't really need guns, but do, do you need more guns? Uh. Have a look. Oh, I did buy, I, I just, I forgot to mention, I bought a shit ton more Dragon's Breath and Flechette rounds from the gun runners. I'm going to do it again right now, <laughs> because I, I don't know, I have more money than sense. I just love Dragon's Breath and Flechette rounds. They're, 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 they're cool. Dragon's Breath rounds set, thing on, th set things on fire, so that's enough said, and Flechette rounds just make a mockery of armor, so... I've got a gun mod probably here I can sell you in exchange for that. Uh, 9mm silencer, in fact. Eh, whatever, it was slightly. Keep the Give change. Me a shout if you need anything else. How's business? Things were better when the Omertas were buying, but we did buy. Good selection from traders, and the Van Graffs keep things running. <gasps> yeah, the Van Graffs, I forgot about them. I need to go see them about weapon mods and Gauss ammo, mostly. What's the deal with the Omertas? That's the thing. I have no idea. They just stopped buying guns all of a sudden. If you hear anything, let me know. Will do. Anything else I can help you with? Um, do you have any specialty items? Why? Do you work for one of the casinos? Uh, nope. In that case, yes I do. Follow me. Like I always say, a polite society is an armed society. No, my dear fellow, a polite society is one that drinks lots of tea and goes around shooting tribals halfway across the world. That's how it works, my dear fellow. That's how civilization was built, don't you know? You've... This is... Is this any different from what you've already shown me. Bladed gauntlet. Ooh. It's a bit... Not not really my style. Uh, a Dragoon pistol. Embrace of the Mantis King. Oh my goodness. Uh, it's an interesting selection, alright. You've got Vault 3 jumpsuits for some reason. Okay. Um... Ray-Ban Aviators, Green t Oh, that'll be a... Uh, even though I, I, I'm only using the player-only version of Spice of Life, I've noticed some of the, the items have managed to make their way into shop inventories somehow. I don't really know why that is, but fine. Yeah, there's... Sorry, old, old Bean, but... No thanks. Come on, ladies, gentlemen, and mutants. We're going to go see the Van Graffs. Hey, good going with that hit on the tops. Oh, oh, yeah, you know, I'd rather not talk about that, to be honest with you. Hello again, Freeside Thug. Why is there a random sheriff tat on the floor? That happens a lot around here. It's, uh, did I did I drop a sheriff's hat on the floor last time I came here? I might have done actually. It's sort of weirdly ringing a bell. Have you seen the new Securitron upgrades? I want to try it on. Sheriff's hat. Uh, yeah. No, I'm fairly sure I have tried this on, and I. I the same reaction then as I am having now. Uh, much better. I want, like, what I really want is a wide brimmed black flat hat. So that I can, so that I look like, uh, what's his face? Colonel Mortimer from, from a few dollars more. Because that'd be really goddamn cool. That'd be really swish, that would. That was a classy gentleman. Uh,.
and a giant rat. Okay, so... What was I doing? Van Graffs, that was it. Okay. I can't remember how to get the Van Graffs. I think we're in the wrong section of Freeside for that, aren't we? If it can be bought, it can be founded. Mick and Ralphs. So help me God, I will install bought, the Crucified mod founded, for you. Mick and Ralphs. I will do it. I swear I will do it. The King's School of Impersonation. Uh, maybe later. We still haven't found Henry Jameson, have we, actually? Where, where is he? He's in the Atomic Wrangler, okay, well. I'm already going, you annoying woman. Yeah, here it is. That's quite a loading screen. It has to be said. Have to find myself a card game in here, Chief. Oh right, this is why it's a big loading screen. I forgot about the populated you know casinos the thing. All stirred up lately? I always kind of figured the Atomic Ram Wrangler was a bit of a dump, to be honest with you, though. I'm surprised that populated casinos actually actually adds population to this one. Because, I mean, look at the look at the clientele squatter. You know? <laughs> it seems a little mismatched somehow. But anyway. Henry Jameson. Oh, there he is. Okay. Shouldn't be long before the fiends are wiped out now that their bosses are gone. James Garrett, have you been sampling the goods? Whatever. Shove off! You're making my luck turn bad. What? I, I'm I'm here to talk about ending your employment with the Crimson Caravan Company. Fuck no! No matter what that old bitch McLafferty says, my dad said I could be in charge of the New Vegas branch. Besides, I got into a little money trouble with the Omertas. If I quit the Crimson Caravan, how am I supposed to get the money to gamble? So you don't have the Emerta's money yet? I'll let them know about that then, won't I? What? No, no, wait. Look, I just need time. Don't rat me out to them. You want me to quit the Crimson Caravan? Fine, I quit. You can tell McLafferty that she won't see my face again. <laughs> there we go. Sorted, gents. I may not be the smartest, or sharpest, for that matter, tool in the box, but... I just, I just, I have a way with people, you know. I'm manipulative, what can I say? So, uh, Silver Rush. Why do you guys always call this stuff out after I've decided I'm already going to go there? Weirdos. Oh yeah, I forgot. You. I'm afraid I'm going to have to search you before letting you in. The only weapons allowed on the premises are the ones we're selling. Okay, search away. It should only take a moment. There, I've stored all of your weapons. You clear to enter. When you leave, I'll hand them all back to you. Seems reasonable enough. You got a problem? No. Why? What? Gloria. Welcome to the Silver Rush, where only top of the line energy weapons can be found. What can I do for you? Get me some gauss ammo. Of course. Lots of it. Um You do not have any gauss ammo. This makes me sad. You've got an auto gauss night scope though. That's kinda cool. Alright, alright, I'll have that. Fine. Uh what what else? Why do you have a baseball bat cork core and a katana balance grip? Why? Try beam LR HD caps increases durability. Try beam LR. I hope that's for my my particular tri beam. Tri beam laser rifle sawn off stock. Ooh, interesting. Yeah. 
Alright then. And those are the ones you've got. That's a shame, but okay. The Smitty Special. <gasps> there was a plasma caster, and I forgot to pick it up because I was so tired when I was recording it. Just. I, wow. Yeah. I, oh god. The, the comments I will have gotten as a result of that. Jesus Christ. Oh well. Um. Okay, 4,000 caps. I can give you stuff in return for this, though. Right, get out the good old post-apocalyptic barter system going. Whoa, hang on. Oh, of course, I cannot sell you my guns on account of the fact that you have taken them all and put them in a box outside. Do you have any idea how bad that is for business, right? That little policy of yours. Because I could have given you so many guns. Well, you can have this. You can have this. And that. And that. And this ghoul year, I am never ever going to be able to use for anything. <laughs> Enjoy the ghoul here. Empty syringes, powder, primer. I have primer for 50 caliber MG rounds. That's interesting. Where the hell did I get that from? Oh, goofy, goofy, silly, silly me. I pick up things without even realizing I'm picking them up, don't I? Oh, blah, 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 blah. 74 flesh out rounds. Oh, yes. 68 dragon's breath. And I will never remember to use them. Never. Guaranteed. Damn it. I, I, I'm at a loss here. Have I got any fake money I can sell you? Um... Oh, I got I got a shit ton of um, drugs and things. Ah, here we go. Electron charge packs. Now I can turn them into microfusion cells. Speaking of microfusion cells, um, I'm already paying you over like a thousand caps. I can't go buying more stuff, sadly. But otherwise, I'd buy some. Since it, oh, enjoy. I forgot I had that with me. I would have given it to Boone, but we've already got the advanced streak on armor for Boone, so and I think he'd probably prefer that to be honest. So yeah, okay. I'm now gonna redo all my weapon hotkeys. This is the annoying thing about this place, dude. No, don't do that again. Okay. Three. Um, one. Four. Where is it? Where is it? Mod. Oh. I gotta try beam something else, apparently. So only one of those mods is actually useful to me. That's a pain in the... Penis. Five. And then... No, what was six? Six is the shotgun. A good old Remington. There we go. Okay, so I got a sawn off shotgun and a sawn off tri beam laser thing. That's kind of interesting. It looks like one of the guns from Fallout 4. Doesn't it? Hmm. Alright then. Um. Do I suffer an accuracy penalty from that? I'm out of curiosity? I mean, it's swaying a little bit. No, it doesn't seem to be any different. Okay. You'd think there'd be a little bit of an accuracy penalty for not having a stock. Oh god. Uh. There we go. <laughs> the old holographic sights were malfunctioning a tad there. All right, that just fold away a little more um, conveniently onto my back there, doesn't it? it? Doesn't get in the way quite so much. Laser, plasma, pistol, bag. grenade. We've got it all at the silver. Well, I've got. I've got. Make a brief stop at the atomic wrangler. 
Mine selected again. The table's more friendly, and the women are just like the booze. Shut up! Stop yelling at me! I, I'm just, I'm out of here. I'm gone. Man, I thought those tin cans of Mr. House's were tough before. All of you leave me alone. Okay, so that's that done. We can go pop across the road to the crimson. Shut up! Seriously! Shut up! Anyway, we can, we can continue across the road to the Crimson Caravan. Let Alice McLefferty know that uh, she's um. Well, she doesn't have to deal with that Henry Jameson. Was his name Henry Jameson? I think it was. Yeah, the Jameson guy doesn't have to deal with him anymore. He's no longer a problem. We've gone out the wrong gate, but What's it doesn't up? really matter. And then after that, I was, well, it's getting kind of late now, but after that I was planning to go north and deal with this. The first of our two remaining caravan wrecks. Why is my, my frame rate was going really weird there? You guys are still doing your silly walk into each other thing. See, what what the hell is going on? You literally, it doesn't matter at all. It's because you, it's cause you, you're both trying to occupy the same spot, isn't it? It's like no, no, it's it's my turn on guard duty. No, no, it's no, it's my turn, dude. It, really, it, it it is. And they're like, fine, fine. We'll we'll just have to both both try and win this spot. Hmm. I don't know. You could just guard the other other end of the door, maybe. No. Fine. Poor Crimson Caravan Guard member. He's just like, oh, I'm just trying to do my job. I'm just a Caravan Guard. Leave me alone. These NCR guys in there. With, with their slave collars for some reason and their power the armor being all... Have messed with our great army. A hard boss, but she knows what she's doing. Whatever. I don't care. You deal with it. If you can't figure out the door problem between the two of you, it's not my my issue. I've got enough on my plate. Sitting tight. Fine. I'm not having you... I'm sorry, I'm not having you all piled in there. Really. I should just leave you outside buildings from now on. It would make life easy. I mean, I've done it again. I've done it again. I've walked into the wrong bloody building. It's not, it, it's not my sodding fault. This place is so goddamn symmetrical. Um, Blake. Hey there. You looking to buy? Sell if you've got the caps, which you have not. So never mind. That bean leader shouldn't have messed with our great army. Yeah, now you've all piled in here because I. Oh, Welcome back. Now the Crimson Caravan Company no longer has to worry about Henry Jameson. Yes, I understand that he's decided to quit outright and not even ask for compensation. I'm a bit curious what exactly you said to him. <laughs> then again, perhaps I'd rather not know. Thank you all the same. I'm very happy to be rid of that man. Is there anything else you need me to do? Something has actually come up. A prospector recently came through here and spent a lot of caps on supplies. Closer inspection of these caps has revealed them to be brand new. This is a problem. The most likely source of these new caps is the old Sarsaparilla bottling plant. Go there, locate the bottle cap press, and disable it. Uh, uh yeah, yeah, so, uh, <laughs> uh, got a problem with counterfeiters, have you? Good, cool. No, I don't like him either. No, I, d I don't know any either, before you ask. Um, uh, I had some problems about... Uh, problems? Well, I do have some problems with bottle caps of currency. It's ridiculous, but um, aside from that, I do have some questions. What would you like to know? Uh, are, are new bottle caps ever made? Certainly. Bottle caps do wear out or get damaged. Some people even insist on using bottle caps and explosive devices for some reason. We make it a point to scour pre-war bottling plants and recover or disable the bottle cap presses. Seems we missed one. And what makes a bottle cap genuine? Lots of little things. The paint on the label, the machining, the type of metal it's made from. I know there's counterfeit caps floating around, of course. Fortunately, they're very time-consuming to make, so the numbers are small. 
Why is a bottle cap press a problem for you? People have been counterfeiting bottle caps forever, but it's always been small scale. A bottle cap press is a whole other threat. We can't have anyone devaluing our currency by mass producing new bottle caps. Let's talk about something else. All right. Is there anything else I can do for you? Goodbye. It's been a pleasure. <sighs> yes, bottle caps. One of the Fallout series' biggest plot holes, in my honest opinion. Because, generally speaking, people use as currency items of some intrinsic value, and then later on, as a society becomes more and more built up and civilized and whatnot, you, you, you replace those in items of intrinsic value with something that is representative of them. That's why on British pound sterling, for example, it actually, it's not actually five pounds, it's a note which says written on it, and I quote, I promise to bear, pay the bearer of this note a sum of five pounds. That's what it's written on the note, because it's not five pounds, it's a five pound note. Um, but bottle caps have no intrinsic value whatsoever, not to mention there are shit tons of them, because, you know, Apocalypse or no, there are going to be shit tons of bottle caps lying around because there's shit tons of bottle caps in real life because there are shit tons of bottles everywhere. You know. So that begs the question one, how did bottle caps even become a currency across the entire wasteland like that? It makes no goddamn sense whatsoever. And I think, to be honest with you, when they made Fallout 1 and they moved on to making Fallout 2, that does look cool, doesn't it? Um, I think they realised this. Honestly, I think they kind of realize this, and that's why in Fallout 2, they don't use bottle caps anymore, they use actual coins. They have, they, have, they use actual dollars in Fallout, Fallout 2. For those of you who've never played Fallout 1 or 2 and didn't know that, in, in Fallout 2 you use dollars. Um, bottle caps don't exist anymore as a currency. Um, but And yet in Fallout 3 in the Vegas, bottle caps exist again. Now... In in to to New Vegas's credit, you actually have a whole bunch of currencies like because you have Legion money and you have ball caps and you have, um, where the hell am I going this way? And you have um, what's it called? Um, NCR dollars. So that's okay, I guess, but. Yeah, it's a bit weird. So yeah, like one, why were bottle caps even being used as currency in the first place, and two. Why are they being used again now, when in Fallout 2, clearly people had stopped using them as money? You know, I mean, there were gold mines in, in Fallout 2. There were, the people were mining gold and using that as a valuable resource, so obviously, you know, well, whatever, you know, you get my point. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, um, you can all stop being creatures of the night. Um, I will set this up. I... Right, we've got a problem because there's two beds and there's four of us. Bet it gets to the roof as per usual. Um, damn it. Alright, I'm going to be a gentleman. Cass, you may have the top bunk. Russell, you can have the bottom one as usual and I will just have to sleep in a chair or something. You see, because I'm a nice guy like that. Get off my sink. <laughs> um, yeah, that's what we'll do. Uh, and in the morning, I'm... I'm tempted to go get Veronica from... Um, from the Lucky 38. I'm really tempted to go and get Veronica from the Lucky 38, and I'm tempted to dismiss Russell. The reason I'm keeping him around is because... And stepping out of the game a bit here... Russell is made by the same guy who made New Vegas Bounties, and one of the cool features of Some Guy 2000, that's the guy who, that's, that's literally his name. One of the cool things about his mods is that they all interconnect in various ways, and having Russell with us while we're doing New Vegas Bounty stuff will mean that Russell will sometimes have extra dialogue and input on the situation as it tends to occur, which is why I've been dragging him around for so long, even after I said that time we were going to let him go for a while while we took a break for hunting from hunting lantern. Uh, so I kind of can't decide. I we could get we could send Bert home to Good Springs and replace him with Veronica, but I don't really want to. As much as you annoy me sometimes, Bert, you're just sort of I don't know. 
You're, you're special. On, on many levels, but you're special. I kind of want to keep you around as a constant thing. Even though you have nothing more to say than motherfucker about anything. Anyway, whatever. I, I guess we'll just carry on traipsing around with these three. Might as well. Russell's kind of annoying me, but other than that, it's fine. And I should have taken a drink from the sink, but never mind. You can always fill that up later. Fill up the si no, I, I mean, I mean, fill up our bottles from the sink later is what I meant to say there. So, still got a shit ton of useless stuff. But we're okay for carrying capacity, amazingly, so... Yeah, okay, we're not going to the Lucky 38. We're not. Part of me wants to go there and... Okay, well, we can't give Boone the uh, the Advanced Recon Armor, because I left it back in, in Good Springs, so never mind. Um, but... Yeah, I do want to go fetch Veronica, because she's awesome. And she can hack computers, and punch things, and she has power armor and everything. She's great, but... It's not really practical right now. Because we need you. And we need you. Because we're doing your whole caravan thing. So. Yeah. And Bert just gets to come along because he's Bert. So. Yeah, I guess that's, that's that. Next stop. Ruined caravan number two. Which is this way. Yes. Onwards. Brave adventurers. Oh, who cares? There's only three companions. Like there, are, there are people who wander around with like six or seven sometimes. <laughs> who cares? They're all set to essential. What? Well, so really, nothing that bad could possibly go wrong. Ultimately. And you know, I, I, you know, yeah, I set, I set my companions to essential. That's really because. Let's just go up this way. I tell you what, it's kind of having a not having a compass, and I don't even mean the quest markers. I mean just having something that tells me which direction I'm facing, like north, south, east, west. It really, is kind of a problem. We're also kind of hungry, and my game is stuttering loads. I don't know why, but it is. Okay, we're good again. Manhole inaccessible. Um. Yeah, I set them to essential just because, well, you know, you saw in, in Zap's neon sign shop or whatever when we were, we were killing all the fiends where they, they tripped the trip wire and then there was just explosions and half of them were just instantly knocked unconscious. Because they're companions, they do dumb shit like this. It's it's a Bethesda engined game. That was a weird way of putting it, but you know what I mean. It's a game running on Bethesda's Gambrio engine thing, which means that they all behave like complete retards 90% of the time. What is with my... I won't call mine sites, but you know, holographic sites not working half the time all of a sudden. It's ever since I've gone with the sawn off stock, isn't it? That's what's the problem, what the problem is. I mean, is that worth really bothering with then? All it does is reduce the weight of the weapon a bit. And look, look, see, it's done it again. Weapon mo what? Oh, I, I, I pressed X without selecting a weapon. Okay, that's what that was. Yeah, see, now that now it's back. Now it's fixed. Okay, that's just what we'll have to do. Um, it does weigh a bit more now. But can we can we not have this annoying left-handed bug? Stop it. Thank you. Um, yeah, that's just, that, is, that is just what we're going to have to do. Which makes the mods I bought, both the mods I bought in the end, completely pointless. Oh, we're, we're, we're practically right here, it's just, I'm... This, I think this might be the spot, I see things on the floor. Uh-huh. A bloody skull, and a, ooh, Quantrals and, what? Well, this was sort of oddly convenient, wasn't it? And I've got a shoe in my face. 
How do I get rid of that? I forgot. And then put that away. No, we've still got a shoe in our face. Never mind. You scan the bloodstained pages of Quantrill's diary. It's a crude amount, account of countless raids, scavenging missions, and skirmishes that span several decades. The final log mentions his superior officer, Onoda, and Quantrill's feelings for him. He mentions their intent to insult, assault the Brotherhood of Steel safe house as a means to acquire weaponry. Can we read this then, or what? It doesn't actually appear as a note. Okay. Yeah, this is the bounty we're on, by the way. I, in case you've forgotten, amidst all the side questing we've been doing, and I wouldn't blame you. Target unknown. Race unknown. Allegiance slash faction unknown. Location unknown. This is a vague target, but there's been a clear pattern of attacks up north. Our best contact is a caravan guard named Chessie, who we've obviously already met. He survived one of the ambushes and got a clear look at the assailants. Unfortunately, he's a drunk who spends his days at the bar in Boulder City. Regardless, he's our best shot at the bounty, so look him up. So yeah, we're basically going after these unknown attackers of caravans up north here. And now we need to go all the way over this way, because... I don't... How do we know we need to go this way? I'm not sure. It mentioned they were going after a Brotherhood of Steel safe house for weapons. Correct, Amundo. But I, how am I supposed to know where that is? Whatever. Don't question it. Oh, Christ alive. What is going on? Is this Fiends again? Yep. Hello! Ooh, it's Power Armored Fiends. You dum dums. Oh. Oh crap. Reload, 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 reload. Yeah, try beam laser rifle, mate. It's great, but not at that range, sorry. One annoying speck of blood in the middle of my screen. Okay, now it's gone. There it is. Does this is mine in need of repair? Not really, so I'll keep that for selling. Ugh. Every time, literally every time, I feel slightly bad about mowing you guys down. I I, I come across something like that. Um. Fiend Butcher. That worth taking? No. Well, y y kind of actually, yeah. The weight, weight to value ratio is sig sig significant enough to bother with. Uh. Oh, I did want all of those. Thank you very much. Dropbox. These are more of these weirdo tech fiends, aren't they? The ones that have laser guns and power armor and stuff. Boot in face, boot in face. Wow, lots of electron charge packs. Yet more 10 millimeter submachine guns. Hooray! We do so love them. Apparently, because we've got like 10 million of them. Ooh, brown mistake. Yum, yum, yum. Oh, whiskey! You you want Cass? I found you some whiskey. I mean, what the hell are you all doing? Seriously. Let's distribute the weight. See, you got an empty whiskey bottle. That's just depressing. There you go. Um. I mean, there's no accounting for taste. Definitely a Scotch man myself, but hey, if you've got to drink your crappy American whiskey, you've got to drink your crappy American whiskey. I won't judge too much. 
Anyway, I was on some sort of weird tangent about companions, wasn't I, before I got interrupted by there being gunfire and fiends and things. Um, as I recall... Did I miss any of you? I don't think I did. Okay. Yeah, basically, I set all my companions to essential for the simple reason that if I don't, I'm so paranoid about them getting killed, I don't let them do anything. What I don't want to do is what I have admittedly seen some other people do, and what I've certainly done myself in the past, is where you just sort of you bring companions along, and then whenever you go into a building, or you expect to get into a firefight or something, you just tell them to wait around, and then you go off and do it all yourself. At which point, you begin to wonder really what the point in bringing them along is, if you're so intent on babysitting them to the point where they never ever get into combat because you're afraid of them dying. What is seriously? What is the point? Because um, you know you can bet your ass that Cass would get pretty fucking annoyed in real life if you told her to just sort of hang around and suck her thumbs for a while while you went off and did had all the fun shooting stuff. You know, she'd get pretty pissed off, I reckon. As would Russell, come to think of it. As would as would bad motherfucker. All of them would kind of get a bit irritated about being told to stand around and do nothing. While you get to go off and do all the shooting. So, from that perspective, I... I can deal with them all getting blown up by a grenade and then miraculously getting off the ground again five minutes later. You know. Grenade icon, nobody wants you here. They're wearing metal armor, so you know what that means. Oh! Off with his head! Can we make it three for three? Not quite. This is a bit where I find out they were just innocent prospectors who happened to have found a cache of metal armor lying around. No, they were of course vipers. My instincts were correct. Ooh, you had some nice stuff. Hunting revolt. Hello. Is that any good? It is very good, actually, as a matter of fact. Oh, that's, that's purdy, as you Americans would say. It's kind of gigantic, but it does look nice. Although, I think it's got some slightly odd normal mapping issues. Or is that just how the skin looks? It, yeah, that just doesn't look right somehow. I mean, it's it's not completely buggered up, because you'd know if it was. Everything seems to be roughly the right place, but yeah, there's definitely something up with these normal maps. Something is kind of wrong with them. Which is unfortunate, because it makes an otherwise nice... Whew, wow, listen to that. Makes an otherwise nice um, revolver slightly less nice than I'd like. Yeah, I do like this. Reminds me of the Ranger revolver in, in uh, Call of Juarez Gunslinger. That was like my favorite weapon in the game, that was. I think the Ranger Sequoia is like the unique version of this, isn't it? I like one of those, oh yeah. This fires big bullets too. I mean, listen to that bang. How cool is that, you know? Oh well. It's in terrible condition. And even though it's in terrible condition, like really, really terrible condition, it still does more damage than than this. You know. And this, really, I need to, as much as I love having my scope revolver, I need to remove the scope from this because this is no longer that useful as a medium range weapon because I've got this for medium range stuff now. 
So this needs to be my close combat kind of a deal. If I'm not using the shotgun, I need to be using this. Or this. But anyway, yeah. That's a bit of a That's a bit of a kind of problem, isn't it, I've got now. Because I've got a shotgun that ostensibly is the best thing I can really use for close quarters, and yet I'm still carrying a pair of pistols around with me. And for no... well, pistols, revolvers... handguns! We'll call them handguns. I think that's a catch-all phrase that works. Um, hello. You know, but um, you see my point. I'm literally only carrying this around with me because I think a forty-four Magnum revolver is cool. Not because it's practical, because it's cool. But I guess that's just... That's just me, isn't it? Is this where we need to be? Not quite. So what the hell is this, then? Raoul's shack. Okay. Hello. I don't know who Raul is, but I'm gonna take these. Tell very much. Um. Yeah. Really, okay. Conversion mic fusion cell to small electron charge. Can I do that? Either, why can I not do that the other way around? That's annoying. Anyway, let's just forge some Legion coins casually. Recycle some flame of fuel. Not, not make a bunch of. We'll leave everything else alone. I, I, I mean, there were some Viper gang guys like camped about five feet away from here, but I can't, I can't really guarantee that belong that that shack belongs to a bad person, can I? So I've taken a scrap metal and turned it into money, um, but beyond that, we'll just we'll just leave it be. Might be a perfectly nice old fellow. Who, who has nothing against us at all. And, then, and, and we would have just, you know, robbed him blind. So, hopefully he didn't need the scrap metal too much. But you know what I'm like with scrap metal. It's like, Cass, Cass, my dear, come on. Thank you. Thank you. What's this then? A railway tunnel. Okay. Uh oh. Oh, uh oh. There was a young death claw. That probably explains why we're not all dead right now. Stay oh, there's more of them. Uh oh, that one looks a bit bigger. Yeah, that one looks rather a lot bigger. <laughs> okay. Uh, nice death claw. Hold still for me. Thank you. I didn't do anything, did it? No. I think I might just be annoying you at this point. Oof. There we go. Ah, ah, the mighty death claw. No match for. Oh God, that was not a good time to level up in the middle of a scope. Uh, energy weapons and speech and everything else can go hang. Frankly, I think I may regret this decision later, but I don't care. Right, you're a, you're an empty death claw. An exceedingly empty death claw. You're a regular death claw. You're still slightly terrifying, but not completely and utterly terrifying. So it took three headshots with this to kill him. 
But whoever these bastards are, I'm extremely annoyed with them for them having led me into Deathclaw County over here. I should check, is that reloaded? Is this loaded? Yep. I have manual reload, I must remember. Hello, oh, no, that's... Out of character knowledge and everything, but that's a distinctly... New Vegas bounty slash some guy 2000 looking shack in the side of a cliff. Hello? Sorry, sir, I'm the only one around here who's allowed to do that energy weapons nonsense. Onoda. Ah! You are one of the gentlemen we're looking for then, Onoda's finger. Thank you very much. Enclave officer hat and enclave officer uniform. So what's your story then? There was another one though, wasn't there? No, okay, the, the other one... The other one was dead. Wasn't he? We found his... Well, what was left of his bloodied skull and I think part of his intestine. Um... Brotherhood of Steel safe house requires a key, you right. Maybe we should have brought Veronica along. Maybe we should have, after all of that. Go away, grenade thingy. For some reason he gets stuck there. When the, when the, when the ammo counters and stuff go away after putting the weapon away, the, the grenade thing stays, and I don't know why. <sighs> Very well. We have slain many death claws. We have shot an enclave officer in the face three times with this. I really do need a better revolver, don't I? And um, we now have a finger. A finger which will make us approximately 500 caps richer. Yeah, I know, I know. Sentences you would only hear in the Mojave Desert. I get it, I get it. 